Hi, and welcome to Aquine Desert. Most of the products that people use every day have Illuminati fingerprints written all over. <laughs> Here's just a couple of examples out of thousands for you to get the idea. Occultists, we know, do communicate in symbolism, which is a language to them. They don't want the public necessarily to know that language, but now as they are being bold and feel that their goals are being accomplished, they're in our face overtly with these symbols. They are occult because their meaning is hidden. The symbol is overt, but its meaning is not. And they can say anything they want, even those taken in under Freemasonry, are not given the true meaning of these symbols that they see all over the place until reaching higher degrees in the craft. Historical roots tells what they really mean, and that is common throughout the ages. For clarification, the occult has two meanings for their purpose one exoteric, the other esoteric, meaning that it's hidden. The occult doesn't necessarily mean evil or satanic, it means hidden. And occultists claim to use this symbolism to identify themselves with one another and to mark their whereabouts and their influence. One of the most prominent symbols we see is the pyramid. The main symbol is the Masonic pyramid with the all CNI, and it goes back to Egypt, influence of mysticism, and using the energy of the triangle or the pyramid. The eye is considered the eye of Horus, the lost eye of the god that oversees everything. It's often represented as a teardrop in Egyptian symbolism. But the eye of Horus also represents the enlightened eye, the Gnostic knowledge, all-seeing, all-knowing, which is synonymous with the light bearer or any sun god that the ancients worshipped. And it eventually goes back to the revelation of the source of light, which is Lucifer. But companies take on this overt symbol in many forms to show their loyalty to the pyramid image and its meaning of power and energy. And sometimes it's represented with just a triangle, the pyramid, or the eye alone. Another prominent symbol is the pentagram you will see all over society. Since the Illuminati have an influence in witchcraft and Satanism, their affiliates may also take on the symbols of magic. The five-pointed star upright represents the four elements of nature, earth, fire, water, air, and the top point is spirit. But also can be represented upside down, which is Satanism, Luciferianism pointing towards heaven in rebellion with the two horns. And even the women sect of the Freemasonry called Daughters of the Eastern Star use this as their symbol. I travel a lot and many times I suffer from jet lag. To cope with that, I used to drink an energy drink called Monster. That was before I changed my diet to a plant-based diet and that was before I realized how bad energy drinks are. <laughs> and that was before I understood the esoteric meaning of the branding monster. Below the monster is something that to me looked like a scratch mark of a predator, the monster. But actually this mark has a deeper meaning. In the Hebrew alphabet it is Wow, 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 uh, which is 666. Is that by coincidence? No, it's not. In the branding of the product, Illuminati use the wordings release the monster, referring to the release of the Antichrist.
The three wow 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 have another esoteric meaning which is a blasphemy concerning the crucifixion of Christ. The symbols are the three nails which according to Illuminati philosophy Satan used to crucify Jesus. And again, no, I'm not exaggerating and I'm not inventing stuff. In this commercial we see the ends of the three nails covered in blood. I don't want to bore you silly by showing you the many Illuminati fingerprints hidden in logos and brandings, but here are a few. The numbers 66 and 666 are encoded into corporate logos and other types of symbolism many of us see on a daily basis. Some of these sixes appear in the shape of the number 6, but to understand the majority of this symbolism, we must be familiar with a little gematria, which is the ascribing of numbers to letters. Using this code, we will see that F, O, X, and V are all used to represent the number 6. These charts can be found in basic books on numerology. In the case of Volkswagen, the logo is a V and W, making the three Vs of 666. If this seems like a stretch, they accentuate the three individual Vs for us in the Weinstein Company logo. If this is still hard to believe, Consider the Gillette Venus logo, which has, for no apparent reason, a three rising like smoke from the V of Venus. It represents 3V, or VVV, or 666. The FedEx office logo is three overlapping Vs. One orange, one blue, and one green. Visa had a voucher program called Just 3V. The Kenwood logo highlights the third V formed by the intersection of the two Vs of the W. Zeralto. Three Vs. Wikipedia. Interlocking Vs again. Even Volunteers of America gives us a 3V variation. The Vivo YouTube channel has, or had, a show called VVV. There are more of these 3Vs equals 666 logos, but we have seen most of the famous ones. The last one we will look at is one of the most unusual. Flip a B from Bridgestone upside down, and there is a V. The exterior bumps of the B form a 3. This last version shows the outlines of the 3 and V more clearly. As we saw at the start, some logos just use the actual number 6 in a variety of ways. Vodafone appears to have changed its logo, but even the basic 6 in the circle logo is another theme we see fairly often. The circle can be seen as an O, and O equals 6. 6 in an O is 66. A6 gives us an original form of the 666. The logo itself is a backward 6, and it has the same basic shape as the first A in A6. The last syllable of A6, S-I-C-S, sounds like 6. Put the 3 together and you have 666. If that is not enough, the pattern on the sneaker itself looks like 3 joined X's. XXX equals 666. There is a series of movies called Triple X, which is 666. At first glance, claims that there is a 666 in the Walt Disney logo may seem weak, because, with cursive writing, one could easily make sixes out of a variety of letters. Yet, the art of Disney Store conveniently highlighted the three suspected sixes for us, making it fairly likely this symbolism was intentional.